okay, I, I'm making tier lists again. I had to go back and check the OG, you know, where it all started. But I'm I'm rewatching this. And he puts Subway in the... Bro, how do you put Subway in the bottom? Like, my brother in Christ, you're the one that makes the sandwich. I don't, I, I don't understand this. Um, But yeah, uh, tier lists. I don't want to just like react to this. By the way, my... Uh, my race tier list was taken down. Um, it's my best tier list. I'm surprised there's literally other race tier lists on YouTube right now. And the whole thing was a joke. And even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't a joke, people should still be allowed to speak their mind. But it's like, bro, my, my only S tiers were tall people and people who wake up in cold sweats. That was... My t like my tier list. That was my S tiers. Like bro, those aren't even races. It should be blatantly obvious how much of a joke this video is. They're not. They're not a. They're not ethnicities. I get. I mean, races is kind of a bit a bit more lenient, but they're not ethnicities. But like, basically, the whole video was like one big like. Uh, it was kind of a subtle ish joke that like, I was trying to kind of imply like, oh, people with shorter lifespans are the superior race. You know, that was like the. I like hinted at that, like throughout the entire video with all the rankings and stuff. I swear to God, no, well, I don't understand why YouTube does this now. Like we were literally just looking at this kind of thing. Like we were literally talking about how much like dark stuff was completely taken off YouTube. The only people that would ever be offended at that kind of video that I made are, would be like normie teenage white girls with no father figure and Black people who claim that they're about the culture, but then they go on to like snitch on everyone in their neighborhood and rap about gang violence and how they're with it when really the most like violent thing they've ever seen is like a food fight in school. And I, even after that, I gave so much credit to both white and black people. Like I literally ranked them higher than every other race because like of, of it basically it was in terms of influence and like success essentially. Like, if you genuinely want to know what I said in the tier list, like, if you want to know what I said was racist or not, because, like, you want to be the judge of that, basically, like, the actual, like, legit stuff I said was, um, black people tend to have more phosphorus in their livers, generally, right? It's not like a, you know, end-all, be-all. But this is, like, one of the main bottlenecks in ATP restoration. Um, and that's why, like, black people across the board, especially athletes, especially on the extremes, will have little more stamina, a little bit longer distance running, a little bit faster, a uh, little bit able to jump a little higher, all that, right? And black people also generally throughout the world on average have bigger dicks. So um, that's another. They also get a pass culturally to say a word that no other race is allowed to say without major repercussions. So um, they have a potentially expanded vocabulary like, I've literally seen white Twitch streamers not even say the N-word. They don't even say it. But someone donates it in TTS, and then the streamer gets banned. And then Soldier Boy will show up on stream and spam the N-word, and nothing happens. It's literally systematic racism. Like, that's it's straight up, that's what it is. Also, if you're black, you can accuse someone of being racist. Even if they're not, you can bitch and whine and cry about, whine and cry about it. And uh, everyone will give you a pass for like doing dumb shit as a result because they'll blame the other guy for being racist and they'll be like, oh yeah, you could do whatever the hell you want. You want to kill him and eat his face and like, you know, murder his kids? Yeah, sure, he was racist. It, you're totally justified. Um, or you, you know, you can get a bunch of attention or, you know, get that GoFundMe money. Um, you also get boosted SAT scores. Uh, you can claim you're so oppressed and, oh, I'm a minority or whatever. And then tech accelerators will be way more likely to accept you. There's all these programs and everything, um, like coding programs that'll be like, oh, you have a different colored skin. We're going to give you an advantage. You know, if you go to Netflix and be like, hey, I'm black, give me $10 million to make a TV show about why white people suck. They'll give it to you. Like <laughs> you can straight up be become famous for scamming other black people by taking advantage of the fact that these black people just have a common interest in that they hate white people. You can scam them, get exposed for stealing their donation money and like spending it on like $8 million mansions for yourself. Well, I'm talking about the people who run Black Lives Matter if that wasn't obvious, if you didn't already know. And then even after all that, and you get exposed to this, 
you still be famous and you still be celebrated and people still donate to you. Now, to be fair, um, this causes a lot of complacency in the community, uh, a lot of double standards. People saying they're like a part of the black culture in some situations, but then flipping the script to say that like they're unique individuals in other situations, just when it suits them, just when it's convenient. Like they'll, they'll be like, oh, black people are so strong and powerful. We run the music game. We're so awesome. And then when someone points out like, hey, doesn't that mean you have like privilege? Doesn't that mean you're like overrepresented? They'll be like, oh no, uh, uh, retributions. Um, this happened because slaves would sing a lot, even though like other situations where white people took over industries because of their history, that's not fair. And, and they are, uh, they're oppressing us, but we have it because this is totally fair. Um, and it was, it's totally natural how this happened. And, uh, it's, it's, it's a complete double standard for people to be like, people to be like, no, I'm an individual. Um, it's just on an individual level, I don't have that kind of advantage, you know, even though black people just so happen to be ext extremely overrepresented, in, overrepresented in pop music relative to their population percentage. It's not me as an individual that has any privilege, you know, it's, it's the race. You can't generalize, you know, you can't, um, you can't say that like all black people have this kind of advantage just because a few people have it. And in that same way, you know, they'll go on to go like, oh, let's blame all members of our race for the actions of a few. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Goldston North. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Um, but yeah, the whole like retributions, like, oh, there were... There were white people that owned us black slaves, you know? I'm like, dog, you were never a slave. There were white people that owned white slaves. There were black people that owned black slaves. All the black slaves that came from Africa were black slaves owned by other black people in Africa. Even outside of America, black people owned white slaves. Even today, there are literally more slaves right now than there ever were in human history. And nobody cares. He's like, but no, we need recourse for the damage that was done to us personally. Even though we literally just immigrated from Jamaica like two generations ago and we were never slaves. We need retributions. We want to be a part of this group that gets the retributions. Or like, you know, when people point out patterns that don't make black culture look so good in the same way that they point out patterns that do make it look good. Uh, they'll be like, look at the patterns that make rap co that make black culture so good. This is what this is who we are. And I'm a part of this culture. And then when someone points out the same sort of patterns, but on the other end of the spectrum, like, you know, the high school dropout rates or the grades or the single mother rates or the homelessness rates or the unemployment rates or the the IQ or the fact that, you know, despite making up 13s, people point out these like examples, right? And the same people who will generalize say, oh, yeah, this small subsect subsection of black people are representative of the whole culture. They'd be like, Oh my God, how can you judge an entire race based on the actions of a few people in that race? If we're all, we're not all violent, whatever like that, right? Meanwhile, on a different day, they'll be like, oh, we're black people. We're, we're hustlers. We get shit done. Our food tastes better. All that shit, right? They, you, they want to have their cake and eat it too. But literally it's like, the thing is I'm, I'm, you can't have, I'm not actually criticizing this kind of thing. It's like, these are all pros in favor of what I was judging the tier list on. The fact that black people can do this stupid shit and get away with it, even though it's like common sense that they're wrong, it's like, hey, good for them, you know? Because like, there really isn't any, I don't look at this as, as there's any like cons to this. It's all manipulation for the sake of asserting supremacy over other races. That's literally all it is. And it doesn't matter if you're black, white, whatever, right? If you don't care about asserting supremacy of your race over other races, then you wouldn't even care about separating out races to begin with. And dude, I gave tons of credit to white people too. Like they have the best skin for cameras, lowest ISO needed. In low light conditions, it makes recording so much easier and clearer, dude. Um, it's very rare that I actually ever record any white people. They usually just show up in the studio occasionally with the black people that I end up recording or whatever. But when it happens, it's like, it's, it's so easy on the camera. It makes my job so much easier. You can literally go into like basement studio with nothing but RGBs, like those kinds of conditions and pop on like a, like a fast aperture, 
uh, some like F1.4, 24 mil full frame, right? And just like go all in, like fuck it, one over 25, one over 125 shutter, um, like 12,800 base ISO and boom, you're fucking golden. Like that's, that's literally all it takes. It's such a huge advantage when recording videos and taking pictures to have reflective skin. And the thing is, people are always like, oh, white people have no culture. Bro, white people have more culture than every other race. Like combined, actually. Like their culture is so deep and encompassing. It's literally ubiquitous in society now. Like nobody ever thinks about it. Like people are like, oh, that's so crazy that you have this culture of eating like, you know, whatever the hell, like, you know, I'm talking about it's it, when people point out cultures, other kinds of cultures, like, oh, people told me like, oh, you eat rice every single day of your life. You eat chicken and rice every single day. I'm like, yeah, bro, that's what I grew up eating. People are like, oh, that that's such a unique culture. I never thought about it because around where I grew up, it's ubiquitous. Everyone does it. And that's kind of like white culture has kind of influenced the world like that, like technology, transistors and space space travel and that sort of thing and pop music and and phones and doing youtube and streaming like i'm doing right now and owning computers and being health conscious mental health and all that stuff you know how ubiquitous cars are white people culture memes are white people culture that these are all like originated from things that people were like, at one point, all these things were like considered like, oh, that's the shit that white people would do. And now it's done by almost everyone on earth. And nobody even thinks about it. It's like, nobody ever mentions like, oh, that's crazy. We're breathing oxygen. It's no, there's no point in mentioning that. It's so u ubiquitous, literally like gaming and the internet, bro, the whole world, there's 5 billion internet users now. That's, it's, it's ridiculous. This is, this was all at one point, white people culture, like travel, frequent travel, flying and cinema and things like that. All these things were originally white people culture. The only thing is white people just suck at marketing and manipulating the rest of the world and thinking their race is good. Black people do a pretty damn good job of that. Like, for example, you could say, um, you could say, what, what, who, who owns a culture? What race owns a culture, right? Is it the majority of people who, who, uh, like are a part of that culture? If, um, if there's a majority that are a part of it and they're all part of one race, is that race now, does that culture belong to that race? Cause if that's the case, hip hop music, hip hop music is white culture. Then if that's the case, cause the majority of hip hop listeners, hip hop and rap listeners are white. And you could say, no, 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 no. It's, it's who invented it. It's who invented the culture. Okay, basketball is white culture then. White people invented basketball. So you can't you can't have it both ways. Black people on the other hand were able to take both. They're able to take hip hop and basketball because they're just they're just better at marketing their culture to the rest of the world and convincing everyone that like they are the good guys basically. They got tons of martyrs, tons of martyrs. Um even though like police have killed tons of white people um like essentially just about the same amount of white people uh, it's like half and half um, w where they were unarmed and things like that. Nobody knows the names of any of those white people. And, you know, they've been trying to, white people have been seen as like basically the villains of the Western world. And some of them try to turn that around. Like occasionally you'll hear some people on Twitter, like, you know, try to virtue signal the other way and go like, oh, I know you guys are talking about George Floyd, but look, this other white person who got shot by this black person and even worse scenario, he wasn't even on fentanyl and he did, he literally didn't murder his girlfriend. This is you guys is martyr. Look at our martyrs or whatever. So you see people doing it, but, um, they both, I mean, they both kind of suck at it. You look at like the, the vast majority of the world doesn't like black or white people in America. They just don't like America at all. When you really look at it, black and white people are basically the same. Like, yeah, black people are four times more likely to commit violent crimes, but white people are four times more likely to be furries. Like, it's it's the duality of man. They're the same. It's the same shit. Just both sides pushing the culture forward into degeneracy. Like, they, they, they ultimately want the same thing at the end of the day. They all want the same thing. I did say a lot of shit about, like, Asian people and, like, Indians and Aussies 
uh, Latin Americans and Arabs and Kurds and Vikings and all that shit, right? I, I, it was a bit of a comprehensive, it was a two-hour tier list, actually. I talked about, like, health differences and that sort of thing. Um, but, like, who really cares? Nobody else is going to be offended at this other than, like, black and white people only in America. And the only reason they're offended is because they only think in black and white. Get it? You get it. I didn't even need to say that. Speaking of binary, I would do a gender tier list, but I think it would be pretty short. After all, there's only two genders. Chads and simps. <laughs>